And we're back with the Jack and Rod Show, and we'd like to welcome employee relations expert. Good morning, guys. Good morning. He's going to tell us how to maintain employee mental health and well-being even when we're working remotely. So go ahead, sir. Well, even though uh, most of us have shifted from in-person work to remote, we can still build quality relationships with coworkers. And well, that's wonderful. Food, and we right? actually have a coworker of ours on the phone who was recently caught by his colleagues doing something very unsettling on Zoom. He's on the phone to apologize and also to learn from you. So please welcome Howard Tubin. Welcome, Howard. Hi, Howard. Uh, yeah, just calling to apologize for my masturbation at that Zoom meeting. I hope, uh, hope I could talk to you about it. Talk to me about it. Uh, well, I... I don't know if there's much to talk about. If you were pleasing yourself in front of your coworkers, then you know you did something wrong, and I, I guess I'm surprised you're still employed. As part of my apology, I'd like to know if you have um, any feedback on my jerking session. It would be appreciated. Well, thankfully, I wasn't there to see it, but uh, feedback. Yes, um, you're lucky you weren't fired. Uh, if I were your boss, you'd be gone immediately, mistake or not. I know it must have been strange for you when I put the cigarette out on my penis. Oh, goodness. Guys, uh, I'm not sure what this has to do with what we're talking about. He's being very graphic. Well, he's just very open, and we thought it would be good for his healing if he talked honestly with you about what happened. Okay, well, Howard, you've apologized, so I'm not sure there's a need for details about what happened on the Zoom call. Hold on a second, please, if you don't mind. I'm making a homemade yogurt for my breakfast. Uh, sure you are. Uh, can we talk about something else? Yeah. Howard, can you get back to your apology? I think our guest is really helping you have a breakthrough. I was a really bad boy. Would you tell me I was a really bad boy? No. And I don't want to tell you anything because it doesn't sound like you've learned anything from this mistake. And you don't appreciate that you're very lucky to still have a job. Howard, are you pumping off right now? No, no, no. I'm, I'm shaking a can of paint. All right, guys. You guys uh, obviously haven't learned a thing, and I'm wasting my time. What you're hearing is me adjusting my necktie for work. Oh, give me a break. Do you think I should shave my balls? They're pretty hairy. I know that. I know Jesus you saw Jack, that. Jack, Ron, are, are you still there? Can you cut him off so I can just talk to you? This is stupid. Just wanted to know, Tootie, do you think my balls were too saggy? Get this pervert off the phone, please, or I'm hanging up. Were you shocked to see I had foreskin? Stupid ass. Thanks for accepting my apology.